And, to, and right now we're going to talk about serial ATA hard drives. That's spelled S-A-T-A. It's the newest kind of hard drive and it's the easiest to install on a PC. So what I have here is a serial ATA hard drive and I've flipped it around so you can see the connectors from the bottom. There isn't a whole lot of messing with this, but first you, you need to identify the different parts of the where the cables go. This one, this long connector right here. This one is for the power. And the power connector looks like this and you can see that it's about the same, same length as the power connector. And there really isn't a wrong way to connect it because if you try to put it on backwards, it simply won't, will not go in. And then the second connector you have, which is right here, this is the data connector. This is where a thin cable like this connects. And as you can see right there, it's about as big as the connector. And uh, just like the power, if you try to connect it on backwards, it's simply not going to go in. And uh, I'm going to explain now how to install this hard drive in a PC now that we got the connectors identified. So now to connect the cables onto the hard drive, we need to open the PC. And it's really simple. This PC has two screws. Some, some PCs have three screws. Some PCs have thumb screws, but it's always the same. You can use a screwdriver if you have screws or you can use your hands if you got thumb screws. And all you do is just take these two screws off, put your hand on the panel, push down on it, and then just slide. And then the panel just comes off like that. And you're ready to go inside your PC and begin work. So here we have a shot of the motherboard on the PC. And the serial ATA data cable connects to these connectors. In my case, my computer has four. And the way to connect it is really, really simple. You take the cable and you snap on it. If it doesn't go in on the first try, all you have to do is flip it and connects and that's it your data cable is connected to the motherboard and now it's ready to be connected to the hard drive so now we have the data connector all connected to the motherboard ready to go on the hard drive but that's just par part one now we need to get power to the hard drive and some power supplies come with a SATA connector ready to go but if your power supply doesn't have and all you have are these white connectors you can go to your store and pick up an adapter. Sometimes hard drives come with adapters too. You see it's got a white end and then it's got two black connectors ready to go on the serial ATA. So the way to connect this is really simple. You take the one on your board, on your power supply, you take the one on the extension and you just snap it on like that. And then you're ready to plug these in onto the serial ATA hard drive. 